In this video, I'll explain how to use the magnitude measurement tool if you've never used it before. Select Measure, Magnitude Measurement Tool, and you'll receive an advisory saying, sorry, cannot find observer information. This is because you have not used the tool before and therefore have not saved any observer information. Click OK and the tool will appear. Now it's time to enter my observer information. My observer ID code is BYY. I press return. That information is echoed here as a potential file name. Next, I enter my longitude. My longitude is 122.36.1. Thirty-four, west longitude. If I'm entering this as decimal, I would have minus 122 and then the decimals. My latitude is 44, 47, 27. Press return. The time zone that will be stored in the FITS headers is universal time, UT. Because I keep my computer clock accurate, there is no clock correction required. The aperture of my telescope is 200 millimeters. The focal length is 903 millimeters. The CCD camera I'm using is a QSI 532WS CCD camera. Now this is the information profiled for Lyons, where I live. So I'm going to go over here and edit the file name BYY Lyons. I then press Save File As, and that information appears here. You can see I've made a mistake. I can change that name. I can save it again. I can then select the misspelled one and delete it. So I can edit the files that I have here. Now let's take into account the fact that I actually observe from several different places. To create a second record, I can type or I can click on Clear Properties and I can start over again. Once again, I'm BYY and the longitude of the place that I observe from, Pine Mountain Observatory, is 120, 56, 28, return. The latitude is 43, 47, 29, press return. I use the same computer. The aperture is 350 millimeters. The focal length is 3500 millimeters. And the camera is in Apogee U9000 camera. I can then name this BYY PMO for Pine Mountain Observatory and save that file. To recall the information for my other site, I simply click on it, it changes, or I can call up the information for the Pine Mountain site. Having completed filling in the observer information, I now go to the Settings tab. The photometric radii um, of 6 for the aperture, 6 pixels, 9 for the inner annulus, and 15 for the outer annulus are good settings at least for your default values. You may wish to change those later. For the CCD properties, I want to set those for what they, what they are for my camera, which is 1.33 electrons per ADU. The readout noise turns out to be 10.5 electrons RMS. The dark current, 0 0.03 electrons per pixel per second. And through trial and error, I've determined that a 
zero point of 19.5 gives me raw instrumental magnitudes that are reasonably close and comfortable to the standard magnitudes for the stars. Having done the settings, we now move to the stars tab. The stars tab keeps information on the stars that you observe regularly. The first star is BL Camelopardalis, BL Cam. I press return. That information appears here, which will be its file name. We don't know the magnitude of the star. That's what we're looking for. However, we enter its right ascension, three hours. 47 minutes, 20 seconds, and its declination, 63 degrees, 22 minutes, 43 seconds. Now, there's two comp stars for this star. I'm going to use star 123 and 120 on the AVSO chart. The AVSO chart number is 07, 1205, and the chart numbers have been recently updated um, to be a four number and three letter identification that's unique. The first star is the one that's labeled 123 on the chart and its AAVSO unique ID identification number is 000BBG233. Its V magnitude, its standard magnitude, is 12.272. Its right ascension is 3 hours, 47 minutes, 5 seconds. Its declination, 63 degrees, 20 minutes, 49 seconds. And the other star I'm using is the star labeled 120. This star's unique identification number is 000BBG231. Its V standard magnitude is 12.044. It's just a little bit brighter than the other one. And its right ascension is 3 hours, 47 minutes, 5 seconds. Its declination is 63, 20, 24, 10. Now, we always check this information before we save it. So I go back and I check and I see, aha, 3 hours, 47, and this should be 14. I enter 14 and check that 63 20 49 that's right 47 that's right okay now I feel that I can save that information save file as and BLCAM appears up here that information has been saved if I clear all the star information I can simply click on it and recall that file and I have that information back I can edit that information at any time. It's also possible to acquire information for doing things like obtaining uh, transformation coefficients. To enter the information to get that, you first clear existing star information, and then you enter the name of the object you're going to use for um, your standard stars. In this case it's IC4665 and that is at right ascension 17 hours 46 minutes 30 seconds declination 5440 that's it. That's all the information I need. 
Primarily what happens is the right ascension and declination are used to obtain the air mass um, when I'm doing a transformation coefficient. So I can simply save this file information. When you open the magnitude measurement tool, it will come up with the observer information that was present when you closed the tool. The settings, when you close the tool, whatever you have here is retained, and the stars that you've entered are retained so that you can recall BL cam, recall file, there's that information. You can double click on these information to bring them back, or you can click on them and hit recall file. All the information you enter, which is kind of tedious, is saved for reuse later. Thank you.